There once lived a wise Zen master named Van. Many sought his guidance in their pursuit of inner peace and wisdom. One day, a troubled villager approached him, seeking advice on how to deal with toxic people who constantly brought negativity into his life. With a warm smile, Van invited the villager to join him in the tranquil garden behind the temple. As they sat under a blossoming cherry tree, the villager poured out his heart, recounting his struggles with toxic individuals who seemed to drain his energy and happiness. Van listened intently, his eyes reflecting deep compassion. He gently touched the villager's shoulder and spoke softly. The winds of life can be turbulent, blowing both kindness and toxicity. But remember, you cannot control the wind. You can only adjust your sails. Perplexed, the villager looked at Van, seeking further guidance. The wise master continued, In life, we encounter different souls, some nurturing and others draining. Toxicity can take root in those who are suffering or carrying. Burdens of their own, it is not a reflection of your worth, but rather their inner turmoil projected outward. The villager listened attentively as Van shared a parable. Imagine a clear pond reflecting the beauty of the moon. When a stone is thrown into the water, ripples distort the reflection. Likewise, toxic people create ripples in your inner pond. The Van is to recognize these ripples and respond mindfully. But how do I respond, Master? The villager asked earnestly. Van replied first, you need to cultivate compassion. Understand that toxic people are suffering and need empathy, not judgment. Second, be sure to protect your inner sanctuary by setting healthy boundaries. Just as a fence keeps out wild animals' boundaries, protect your well-being without resentment. The villager nodded, absorbing Van's wisdom. But master, what if I cannot avoid toxic people, as some are part of my daily life? Van smiled knowingly. Ah, in such situations, the art of detachment comes into play. Imagine yourself as a sturdy tree, grounded in the earth, swaying with the wind, but never losing your roots. Let their negativity pass thought you like wind passing through the branches without letting it disturb your inner calm. The villager felt a newfound sense of clarity. But won't that make me indifferent or cold? Van shook his head gently. Detachment does not mean apathy. It means not allowing their toxicity to define your emotional state. Respond with kindness, but remain anchored in your peace. On just as the lotus flower blossoms in muddy waters, you can find beauty amidst negativity. Deep in thought, the villager asked, Is there anything else I can do, Master? Indeed, Van replied. Cultivate gratitude. Focus on the blessings and positive relationships in your life. Gratitude is a shield against toxicity as it shifts your perspective to see the goodness around you. The more you practice gratitude, the less room toxicity will have in your heart. The villager bowed deeply and thanked for his profound teachings, feeling empowered and uplifted. From that day forward, he approached encounters with toxic individuals with newfound understanding and resilience. In the following weeks, he diligently practiced the art of compassion, setting healthy boundaries, and embracing detachment without losing his warmth. As he nurtured gratitude for the blessings in his life, the toxicity seemed to lose its grip on him. Over time, the villager noticed a profound change within himself. He felt lighter, more centered, and filled with inner peace. Toxic people no longer held power over him. Their negativity no longer created ripples in his pond. Instead, he embraced a serene state of mind, like the cherry tree under which he first received the wisdom of Van. In this tranquil village, the transformation of one soul rippled outward, inspiring others to find their own inner strength and wisdom in dealing with toxic people. As Van often said, in the art of life, the true journey lies in mastering yourself, not controlling others.